Okay, we're back. And I think I'm gonna go after her. I haven't really thought about it. I just want to pick the middle option. Find the redhead sitting on the curb outside the building, peering off the ferry road. That looks safe and okay. What do you think, Tart Time? Wanna talk about it? If that is, if you don't mind, do Lisa send you down here? So that it make it her little girl over and do her dirty work so she doesn't have to deal with it herself. I think there's been a slight misunderstanding here. Listen, I aren't dating. And she didn't send me over. No one. Fuck. No one for, did, for a matter of fact. I am just here because I love you. When it slightly tilts her head towards me, Ruckley moving her hands from her over the eyes. Then explain why you two are so close. This doesn't make any sense to me. Well, actually, we grew up together. I've known her since. Way before she ever started the company. Ha! No wonder. Better than dating her, I suppose. I can't imagine how anyone in their right mind could possibly put up with someone as bitchy as Lisa. Again, if you were actually dating her, I might have flirted with you. Oh. Right in her face, too, so that'd piss her right the hell off. I want to rub to her smug face and show. Okay, you need to calm the fuck down. Never realized Alex is could be so vicious. Lovely. What the heck? Do you even hear what you're saying? For someone who's supposed to be friends with Lisa, you're being pretty cruel. Friends? Oh, well, we are, but you clearly don't understand how things with her work. You might think you know everything about Lisa since you're privileged enough to be her child of friend, but telling you that, you haven't been saying anything. Have you lived with her tart time? Or rather, have you lived and worked with her? I guarantee you would have regretted having to go through all the troubles she caused if you were in my place seeing her being her roommate was living hell. Good doggy. If there's one bit of advice you'll get from me, it's you should never work with your friends. I don't care if you're still hunky-dory with them or your pen pals or some monk gullabaloo like that. They will drive you insane. One's eyes dip toward the grin as she says, closer you are, the more intense it becomes. Working for Lisa is worse than you could ever imagine. <sighs> well, I obviously understand that Lisa has your flies and can certainly be divisive, but she's a fucking asshole. We used to get along well before you came around. We would take turns carpooling to work. We'd have a blast. So it's my fault, got it. Believe it or not, I even got my work done on time properly. While well, we had worked. Then we'd go home together, Lisa and I would still enjoy each other's company. Maybe on a good day, I'd make her dinner. She would might buy dinner for the two of us in yours. We'd do whatever we wanted if we wanted, when we wanted, because that's the point of living by the day and present, not giving care about what should come next. Uh, life is a breeze. But for the first few months we lived together, God knows why. But after that, she got fed up with me. Now I hate that conceited two-face. I mean, I'd quit in a heartbeat if I could. Don't know what you guys went through, but can't you make it up to her somehow? Treat her to like something. Go out for a drink, even if she, even if she seems crappy. You have to get credit for sticking with you through the thick and thin. Is that what it means to be good friends? You know, but that way I guess I should be grateful for. Her. Maybe I should do something to show my appreciation, like not throw pens at walls. It's okay, cause as long as you guys stay friends, I'm sure Lisa will understand that friendships have their highs and lows. I no not know about that. I really don't. Well, you don't have to worry about that right now, anyways. Come on, let's get back to the office. Okay. I don't even Alexis is back working while Lisa remains holed up in her office. I don't think any of us have gotten much done after the chaos ensued hours ago, though. I packed up, ready to call it a day. Lisa finally emerges from her office. May you could lock up for us tonight. I'd really appreciate it. And it turns her around in her chair and nods. No, she just slides in from the left. Mm. Something's going on, Lisa. You usually lock things up yourself. It's because we're going to the bar together. You get wasted, just like old times. Doesn't sound like so much fun. If I can even comment, Lisa slips ahead of me and has begun corralling Alexis down the stairs. Alright, Alexis, I'm ready. Let's get going. We're off, tools. Everyone will see you all tomorrow morning.
You okay with not being along with them? Just slides her head. It's okay. You weren't invited either. Guess that's true. Mm hmm. I stew in the silence as I heard guess whatever the room is. Just pulling her thumbs, she continues to stare at my feet. At my feet, not her feet. Mine. Okay then. Would you mind if I stayed behind a little longer? You probably should. Shouldn't. I'll be fine, so you can go. Oh, okay. Goodbye, dark time. Yeah, bye. With that, I turn my head out of the door. I English so well. Unfortunately, it seems like getting wasted has forced neither Lisa nor Alexis to turn up place. I'm glad they've seen. They've made up or somehow, or at least they have temporarily put aside the differences. As soon as I put my least together stuff together for an announcement. As you all know, last day was of testing we've been reflecting published in this release. We all need to do our very best, such extra sharp diligence to focus. We need to make sure nothing goes wrong. Alexa, start time both your main priorities to double check and send out all the press kits. Okay. Yep. Mayo, you need to ensure that our website and social block use and gameplay were without issues. Okay, great. I'm on it. Uh, Missouri loves, all work on Missouri loves company will be postponed until further notice. Are oh, we clear? No. Alright, let's get to work. Does my opinion matter? I am not ready. One second. We gotta lunge at her again. Just wah! I just lunge at people. Also, maybe I should back the fuck up this time, because that was me getting close to her. I bet she doesn't feel overburdened. I'm pretty to ask how things were going as a pre release campaign. For the most part, I've already taken care of all the ads just up. Ready to call another time. On that, I'm currently in contact with several game journalists who are willing to review our game. Would have liked to have been able to send them early copies of the game, but it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. I'm glad things are okay. True, this is nothing I can't handle. What seriously stresses me out, though, is that it's broad just spam emails asking for game keys in exchange for so-called reviews. Like, I know you're not this famous streamer who plays mob only MOBAs. Like, I know you're not this famous streamer who only plays MOBAs. Why would you play visual novels? These people just don't stop. Good point. I recall Lisa having to shoot through all her spam emails for an hour or two with all the other releases as well. Oh, uh, fuck. I keep clicking that button. Uh. You're a good dog, Don. Where the fuck does the escaping come into play? That's what I want to know. Told Lisa she's really vest in customizable filter. Maybe I can help you out. Let me filter the messages for you. We can switch jobs until I'm done. Thank you for the offer of time. I think I'll take you up on that if you don't mind. Sure thing. I know how busy you can get. Now we get right on to it. Follow me. Now this is the fuck chamber, right? I mean, the, the office boss. Yeah. Lisa gets me over to her desk before showing me the problem on her monitor. So this is junk I have to deal with. Seems like there's no end to them. You see that? Another tree just popped up. Don't worry, I'm used to stuff like this, so it shouldn't take long for me to empty your inbox. Alright, Tom, Tom, show me what we've got. I'm trusting you. Oh, shit. Can we go to, like, Pornhub on this? I'm finished here. No. Okay. Good evening. I'm Sarah Evans from the Automated Press. A previous game reviewer, Kotahata. I recently resi has recently resigned from her position. Even so, I hope we can continue working together. In any case, I'm contacting you with a request for a review key for their newest title. Reflections. Are you still interested in working together, Sarah Evans? Game not working. I recently purchased one of your games from a mother. For some reason, it doesn't work. Okay, let me help you with that. Reply. Good at, okay. Uh, did I do it? Never knew this start time, I'll help you with that. Can you please send me the de following details? The name of the game you bought and the place you bought it from. 
Did that work? Cool. I think I did it. But, stop fucking, Jesus. Screw off, stop wasting our time. Greetings, my name is Akemi. Okay, cool, I've heard you make games aimed towards women. Would you say your demographic includes lesbians as well? This seems like a legit question, so let me help you with that. Why do I have to- I, This is like retarded. After this short time, we do make games with lesbian parents, so I would say yes, I would recommend playing a few of our demos before you buy anything. I'm just wondering about how your game Modern Cuties is doing. Okay, so this- All these are just like, normal. Except Mr. Loopy over here. Buck, 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 buck. But this, this, these people are actually asking questions. This person's game's not working. This person wants to ask questions. This person's also asking questions. Yo, let's go help a fan out. Why the fuck not? Start time where it's not working on to port monkeys to no engine. We sure aren't be right. And then this. Like, I have no background info on this. I guess, let me help you with that, I guess? Who the fuck knows? Good afternoon, the start time, let me help you with that. Which storefront would you like the game, your game key for? Okay, perfect. Mama, I guess you weren't bluffy, you really can work quickly. <gasps> what I tell you? Nothing. I need to put more faith in you, huh? Sorry. I'm gonna treat you to lunch. Fuck. I think my little hard worker deserves a prize. Thanks, so this sounds great, actually. Thanks, Lisa. I didn't think. I want to see what these amazing lunch options are this time. I got my Google. Fuck. I got my Google ready with beam, beam, pop. Okay. Thanks, you to come around. How do I not get to choose? Question. What was the last time? We were either graduated. Right, I think it might have been when we were still in high school. Right, blah, blah, blah. Oh, if, you whip, if I hadn't helped whip you into shape, who knows whether or not you would have passed your exams. But you said I'm a bad studier. My, my time at the university was much more fulfilling, though. I had the freedom to join clubs and study whatever I found interests instead of being forced to write random essays about Shakespeare. I don't even like Shakespeare. I don't... I want to choose my food. Do I not get to... Make sure... To get you eels, shrimp, turp, I know how much you love them. I've never had squid or whatever the fuck it was. Shrimp, octopus, yeah, I've never even fucking had that shit. Oh, you're the one who's a chainsaw. I'm like, my memory is my favorite kind of sushi. Yeah, like my baby said. I don't know about that. May not appear overly from the girl who used to take you to water park every summer after pleading for your parents' permission, but I sincerely hope I've matured. No, you're still a bitch. No one loves you. The school's out, blah, blah, blah. It's a little embarrassing. I'm gonna break out my stupper. Hey, do you remember the time you bled through your swimsuit? Yeah, that was fun. I made the water all red. Too embarrassed to come out of the washroom. I'm gonna help you quit. You're too scared. That happened again. You were cooped up in there for who knows long. It's just funny looking back on it now. You need to stop making fun of my periods. They're very serious and painful, I think. Well, I had a embarrassing moment in public before you write. I have never had one of those. Not like one of those accidental ones. Like, it's like, oh shit, that happened. No. And you haven't embarrassed myself. It's on purpose. With respect, I believe he was right. You weren't really a kid, were you? I don't exactly understand where Lisa's going with this, but I nodded in my head. Strange memories can reveal things about a person you don't think. Yeah, sure. More crumbs are abruptly added to never seen anything more. I the finish the issue, but. Thanks for lunch, Lisa. It was delicious. Like I said before, there's no need to thank me. I, just, I was just grateful for your company. Wait, my company? Oh, fuck, I'm retarded. Likewise, this was no waste time. Let's get back to work. You gotta pass. Wait, I got no work done. Fuck. I spent half the day sorting five emails. Why the fuck did I do that? 
Real manages to leave on time. That was a boring ass day. Missouri loves company. We pray it'll be another title of fandom novelty in our line of successful Atome games. Everyone, including Alexis, is in protective here today. Why don't we just fuck off and get to the actual good shit? The fucking Christ! What are these time jumps? What have we done? I don't care about this bullshit. I'm trying to get to an escape. Head to the office, office, which suddenly has extra chairs and tables set up. Bunch of party drinks, snacks, and delectable looks sweets. A few board games and cards sit on the table. What's all this for? What do you think, silly? I don't know. Birthday party? We're having a party. Man, my birthday party. That's what nobody told me about this. This was wait, fuck, what? This was to be a surprise world in studio wide celebration with completing our fifth game. Okay. I was planning to ask if you wanted to help me carry all the stuff out from the trunk, but it looks so busy, I don't want to disrupt you. So I ended up at last, so I said, I still finish this weekend, a few co works from another department, we can fill the room. Well, this is going to be super fun, tear time. Aren't you pumped? No. I'm going to make sure you're totally wasted by the end of the night. No, thanks, I need to get home. We'll be able to walk straight when I'm done with you. You know, I just love getting hammered, I'm such a party animal. Once everyone is comfortably seated, Lisa steps forward and makes an announcement. If I get everyone's attention for a moment, please. Okay, I just want to say you're all fucking assholes. Okay, this was fun. Okay, now let's party. Fuck yeah. Stock. Wait. <laughs> they just like start clapping randomly. Well, since that's over with, let's get this party started. I'm hearing some males in here. I thought this was an all-female office. I feel like to. Looks like immediately pours a shot of vodka inside the grapple to me before. Oh, Jesus. One, one, two. No, thanks. I'm not that huge fan of that brand. I'd rather pour for myself. Oh, I'm just sure not how to drink. Lisa smirks. This is nothing as Alexis can testify. You bet your ass, she might, not look, look, she might look like a white bitch, but no pushover. I'll never guess what it takes, takes you to get her drunk. Some crazy bullshit amount. Like silly emotions towards. Fuck! No, not wanna be weeb! Okay, there we go. You only have one glass? Want another? How about a little later? Remain silent and watch. Okay, Keys. Fucking, I don't care. When does my vision get fucked? Alexis eagerly refills my shot glass to top off vodka cheerfully. Okay. Haha, -ha, you are on. Ergodic. What the fuck's that? Oh, I thought. Uh, that was just random babble. No, it's at a girl. I thought it was going. Ergodic. Count on three. Bring it. We clink the glass together and smirk at one another. One, two, three. Bottoms up. Uh, I'm fucking hammered. Shit, I, I'm the lightweight. Fuck. Other next. By the way, I downed the vodka. See, you're already getting a hang of it. Meanwhile, I'm just fucking. I'm just fucked. I lost count at some point, but I can't bring myself to care. I'm just drinking. Please give your six yards is over here. You guys is. You truly have a way with words, my dear. So what did you want to show me? That time, this is the motto. You're right, at least it's so the blue leaves. Don't worry, you're way cuter this way. Hey, don't fucking hit on me. Now we're all in the mood. This is for some fun. I put a game with the... Now you talk on my language, you're on. I do not sound drunk. Things quite quiet after a few hours, the party comes to a playing chatty fashion. Still a little, I'm still as buzzed as ever though. My stomach's starting to get seriously upset. I casually scope up the scene to see where everyone is. So my coworkers, I don't care. To my left, Lisa misses their cop and she's brutally conversation. Ever since we enjoyed it, but they're not by them. So we're calling the taxi, we're walking, hoping it'll. 
Help me sober up. My place isn't too far away, luckily. Stumble into my bedroom, slump into the bed, immediately passing out. Well, I'm glad we got to see your bedroom for like five fucking seconds. Wake up with the most drying hangover today. I don't care about maybe that. Fuck off. Phone get text message from Melissa. Dark damn, what you guys do? You should have left that time at first. I was worried sick on that. Hope you're okay. Please check my back. Asp. Amelia, I replay Amelia, although my hands are a little shaky. Fine, just had to go home to rest. I wasn't feeling too well. I threw some fresh clothes on and dredged over the sink to make breakfast. To hang over this fish and I decided to play my f make my favorite greasy hash browns with ever, ever greasy pile baby. But I was fucking, I don't care anymore. Get to the fucking escape. I am really disappointed. Monday morning arrives. I'm back and you just sink in my leather seat like I always do. From the fist pups around the corner. Third time are you on this, um... Stupendous spectacular morning. It's fucking Monday. Shut up. Time, I guess. That's great. Oh, this is like a trip here from this special. Oh, is Maya going to. Oh, shit. She actually spoke to me. Hi, it's hard time. Glad to see you're alive. I'm dead, actually. I'm a ghost. Look. Good morning. Okay, fuck off. Nothing, just, just, nothing ever changed. What was that the in <sighs> Fuck off you whore Oh shit their face is actually filled in now Shit, man, that's actually clever. God damn. Fuck.